Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So you have been trying to verify your LinkedIn profile, but there is just one issue. You don't have a passport or maybe you just don't want to use it for verification. The good news here is that you don't need a passport to actually get verified on LinkedIn. In fact, LinkedIn actually offers a few different ways to confirm your identity or work status without uploading your passport details. These options vary by region and account types, but they are very easy, safe and completely legit. So in this video, I will show you how to actually verify your LinkedIn profile without a passport using your government IDs, your work email or even your company login. Now before proceeding into this video, make sure you check out the useful links that are given down in the description box below. These are the links of all of the resources that are mentioned in this video. Now without further delay, let's get straight into it. Now instead of your passport, you can actually use other official IDs depending on your country. That includes your driver's license, national identity card, your residence permit. Now you need to open your LinkedIn mobile application just like so and you can even visit to LinkedIn's official website. Over here, tap on your profile icon in the top left hand corner of the screen and tap on view all analytics. Now, once you are on this page, you will see the option of verify now or add verification badge. So whichever option you see here, you need to simply click on that and you will be landed on this uh, verification page. Now over here, you need to choose uh, to upload your government ID just make sure that it is not expired and the photo is also clear So you need to provide your email addresses verification So after providing it uh, you need to press next in the bottom right hand corner of the screen So once you have uploaded your government issued ID uh, You will have to submit it and wait for the confirmation So this is actually handled by LinkedIn's trusted partners like persona and your data is also encrypted and private here now you can verify it with the help of your work email as well so you need to come on your linkedin profile again and you can select the option of verify uh, your workspace or, or similar under the current job so once you tap on that option it will again redirect you on the verification page where you need to enter your official company email here in this section and linkedin is going to basically send you a confirmation link uh, so you need to click on that and uh, with the help of your uh, work status you can verify your linkedin profile so for verification it should be approved so once it is approved you will see a verified at company name badge right next to your profile now you can even use microsoft entra id uh, so sometimes uh, company uh, use uh, microsoft uh, for login so if yours does you can use this too uh, for that you can verify with the help of a microsoft work account uh, and then you can link it to your linkedin profile uh, once it is linked with that linkedin actually confirm you are a part of that organization so in this method as well no passport is needed now here are some of the bonus tips that i would like to mention so first of all you need to make sure that your name your job title your location are actually matching to your ID or your email address whichever you are using to verify your LinkedIn profile if there is a mismatch LinkedIn may actually reject your verification also keep your LinkedIn application up to date since new verification features rolls out uh, region by region so you need to make sure that your app is also updated to the latest version so if this video helped you out make sure that you like this video and subscribe to the channel also don't forget to check out the links in the description if you have any questions you can drop them down in the comment section and I'm here to help you out with that thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next one